Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to more of The Sims. F <laughs> Not Sims. Seriously, Pokemon Outer Sun. Why did my brain kinda, you know, <laughs> kinda like didn't really work probably when I just saw the video? <laughs> I know, man. I mean, I guess it's because I kinda get distracted by the camera I record, and apparently there's a blur going on. So yeah, we actually back again on Outer Sun there. <laughs> I mean, I'm not even open the computer that plays Sims right now. Kitty, get a hold of yourself. All right, there. In the last video, we actually like explore a little bit of the pudding breaker course. Um, you know, all the kind of jazz. And yeah, I know that two. I mean, kind of two previous video, we actually like have a bunch of um decks update going on, which I'm really really happy with the result. That um, you know, I actually get work pretty well on the decks. <laughs> and not gonna lie, I really. Really, really damn good about it. So yeah. So in case you guys see here, we actually you know going to meet up with Lily and I think Hapu actually onto the I think kind of like our ruins of Pony Island. Talk about it's actually like um right over there at the bigger course there apparently. Yeah, we actually battle our trainer on the area too. In case you're wondering. So anyway, I think let's moving on and yeah, entering the next area. So we arrive to Ruins of Hope. And also, I see the Mustel, um, you know, kind of like all over there. Definitely, you know, um, we're actually going to meet up with, yep, both Lily and... Oh, Hapu wasn't there, apparently. Okay, nothing much there. Good to know. I kind of, you know, wondering if I'm going to miss something. Alright. So, let's see some event going on. Sorry for keeping you waiting there, Lily. The Ruinous of Hope. What is this place? They feel so oppressive. But, but if we go in there... Maybe that people will return to normal. The people believe that the garden deity of this ruined Tabufini can wash away any impurity with with its mystic water. Um <laughs> You think that'll work? That sounds promising. I might go for that one. That's right, it's third kitty K. I'm going to give it all give my all so that we can return Nebby back to normal. And must also agree to. So just you wait, Nebby. This time I'm going to be the one who saved you. Come on, Kitty K, let's go. Alright, so we are actually going to, you know, entering the area now. Well, we have to go first, of course. That's of Lily wish Cran at the Ruin of Hope himself, oh, her hope ruin it. Raw Tom, um, I know, like, you know, we are actually, like, joking and all, but wow, didn't try to jinx that one, please, okay? Alright, so, yeah, let's actually keep moving forward now. <laughs> yeah, so we actually arrived into, um, yeah, the Ruin of Hope, but how are this one appear to be, um, capping going on with the maze? If we want to break apart, we need to move the, those huge rocks. That's what Habu Grandmother said, um, isn't it? Ugh! Ugh! I don't think I can do this. It's heavier than, than we can express. We had to borrow Masham formidable strength for the task. I read it about I read about it once in the book. I even remember right said when getting the right form Pabu Masham, tr um, trainer can activate Masham shop by standing before a rock and pressing B. And we find out, so getting frustrated, we should probably remember to step outside again for a bit perspective. So the game mentioned about well, getting you screwed up, you can actually like, um, you know, re-enter the area, so you can actually try again. I've got to wonder, who put this big heavy looking boulders here? Wow, they actually changed that line a lot. So, so it's about time we're actually going to start off using our Masham sh shop. Okay, talk about, it's kind of like, um, you know, kind of fun indeed. So. When we actually like, have a sham there, um, our speed running is kind of like, you know, kind of decent. But when we actually like, um, next to, move next to the, um, kind of like Moodle border, holding B, um, you can actually have the Masham just do, you know, what should I say again? Kind of similar to like, um, the strength move, um, like in the older Pokemon game. All you gotta do is just, um, go to the direction and press B in order to, kind of like, moving that set, um, border there. When you actually cannot move, then the game will notice you. So, um, I kind of know how to, um, again, kind of like how to, um, solve the, how like the puzzle now. This one is kind of easy to do. So all you gotta do here is just move this um puzzle into to that set um area. And this one here you have to um move right there and then you just um go right back and then you can actually pushing and then make a pathway. So yeah, unfortunately um this one is only push, no pull. So apparently you need to actually only you know think about one direction you can actually do. So here we are. We finally um managed to pass through the first one there, which is really really nice. So I wonder how Hapu managed to kind of like um go up ahead of us, but it's okay. And oh, speaking of which, we already see Hapu there already. And oh, you finally come there, Lily. I do about them, you know. A lot of sacred ruin and a garden deity worship within them. They go whatever they want, it's not easy to meet them according to the books I read. 
But there are someone here in the ruin, they do sometimes appear. The books say that they are, well, capricious. En encounter with um, them do not always end up, you hope they will. Maybe that explains why. Even coming here this, um, to this ruin hasn't worked any response from Nebby. Oh, that's Hapu. Um, wow, you just realized that, Lily. Okay. Alright, so let's see, um, Kale is some CG cutscene, looking, um, you know, kind of looking excited. <laughs> Hope that, um, the camera, um, kind of like, you know, not trying to screw up. Okay, I kind of see that the camera there is kind of too light. I mean, again, this game here, in my opinion, um, kind of like taking maybe three to four years now, so, um, hope you guys don't mind me if, you know, you're not gonna see in the, um, kind of like, full HD thing. Okay, I give you a thank for your great blessing. I mean, I kind of sure that um, some of the other videos on YouTube already have more HP, um, the damage there, and oh, as a Kuna, okay then. So yeah, in case you guys um, maybe mentioned, I see here, um, I kind of know that some of the other um, YouTube videos maybe actually have like the cutscene that actually HD, so in case you want to see it again, that having HP um, quality, um, maybe watching there, don't worry, I mean, if you want to stick with me, then it's cool, I really appreciate it, okay? Oh, so you two were watching? Yeah, that's arrived there. The Kuna are shooting by the Pokemon we worship here in Alola, our second guardian. They are choosing from among the people living on the island each um, guardian watches over. Lily told me you are pretty new to our party, eh, KDK? You came a lot of some far off? You must really be something then. I heard how you were giving a sparkling stone by the Tapu, even as a stranger to our shores. My grandfather. My grandfather was shooting on his honor, the honor of being our island Kahuna. But he died suddenly some year back, so and we were left without a kuna on pony. I tried to follow in his footsteps, but I was not choosing by a tapu back then. So I set out on my own sort of island shining, traveling alone and trying to grow stronger. Lily, the kuna you wish um you wish to meet is right here. So yeah, we actually to see um the moment that Hapu finally come at uh, the island kahuna up in this game there, so in case you're wondering there. Oh, of course! Then please, Kahuna Hapu, tell me about the legendary Pokemon. So what do you know about So Sogalio, who will pay tribute at the Outer of the Sun? I'm also after my mother. She disappeared up into some far off world. And for some creature live in that world, a Pokemon now called Necrozma. That's why I, I want to ask the legendary Pokemon for your help. This Pokemon is only um one who can go back and forth between worlds. A world where beasts reside, eh? I recall this might be some kind of world you find at the other end of those holes that open up in the sky. Just ask my grandfather one describe. Alright, I will tell you what I know. Oh, thank you, Hapu. But what I know is not much. This is there a ceremony held for the legendary Pokemon at the altar. A ceremony that used um, two particular food on to somehow keep the legendary Pokemon power. This is a moon flute. It's that my mother had it. Oh, this looks like a flute that used to reside at the layer on Ula Ula. They are said that um, they are said to be held on Ex Exeter Island. I don't know why they are all placed, but they had been passed down. Um, that that's where it belongs. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to read the dialogue, guys. It's just um, sometimes my um, my kind like kind like my speaking CEO maybe not the best. <laughs> Exeter Island. I read about it before. You know, inhabited island up the coast of Ponies, that right? Yes, and no reason to dally here. Let's just um, go and speak with Mina. Later, you take Marcel. We, we proceed to Seafolk Village. And okay, I wouldn't be able to get to Exeter Island from Seafolk Village. So apparently, we just um left there. <laughs> of course, we would. Okay, so I think all we have to go back here is actually go back to Seafolk um, Village, I believe. And yeah, don't you worry. Um, you know when you actually solve the puzzle, um. It actually like you know will say right here, so yeah, you can actually go past you there anytime you want, which is really nice. And I guess we're probably gonna using the um the fire anyway. It's kind of faster that way, right? So yeah, we actually have to go back to um Civil Village there. But however, before I act, I want to go um back there. Um, see, so we actually get a, um the new Macham shop. There is one place I want to go first. We're gonna go back to Akala Island a little bit, and we're gonna go right around um i think we're gonna go right um here so again i hope you're gonna mind me i'm gonna backtrack a little bit because um this is kind of like another area that um i kind of admitting it that um i kind of like really really have like a hell of a long time trying to figure out how to get that said item 
until gonna need to actually go back there and then you know you need to um wait until getting the final um yeah in case I know my show is actually the last um right point we can actually, can actually get so we're gonna go back to this area in case you remember the um data tunnel and let's actually push in my Masham Shok right away. And yeah, there is kind of like, you know, yeah, the run is to be kind of like decent, so that's kind of always nice. And oh, forgot about. <laughs> yeah, I, I okay, I, I'm admitting it, I didn't really um, kind of like pay attention on that one too much there. In other words, the uh, um, white moment there. I mean, to be honest, actually, to repel to, you know, eliminate all of them, but eh, I don't feel like it. I mean, I think we're not going to get encountered that much though. Hope I didn't jinx myself. I'm going to jinx myself, that's it. So, okay, there is some area that you need to actually wait into my sham, um, shop in order to get that and I think it's going to be right around there or um, I didn't remember what side it is but maybe we have to switch in the rifle one company again, I didn't really sure but I know um, that area actually that is and yeah, I kind of have no idea how to get that one until like way later again when I play first time Outer Moon again maybe I mentioned like a certain time before but I didn't really spend much on the Generation 7 game too much that much though so I kind of like really, you know, when I actually just playing, um, picking that game up, I kind of like tend to just um, maybe try to get moving on to the next um, story, so I could maybe um, try to get um, try to get some shiny I want. You know what I mean, right? Yeah, I know. So yeah, I think I may need to use the Taurus um, first. Oh, I think that's an item, does it? Whoopsie, <laughs> forgot about that. So, alright. Alright, I kind of like the Masham um, design on the right one there, it's kind of looking cool though. Uh, yeah, like that sounds fun. Oh my god. We can only still ban counter does it. Oh, Diglett. Okay, good thing I think that alone Diglett does not have another trap, which is annoying. In case I know that set really actually prevent you from runaway. And yeah, the data tunnel in the um Kali the candle and Kali the candle kind of game is kinda annoying. And also that place is optional, but I you know, in some point you're gonna need to um prepare some kind of like something there. So okay, not not this one. This one actually go back to um where we actually been here. I have to remember. Um, I had to remember where excited that is, guys. I mean, I remember that. I kind of guess that maybe next time we're actually gonna have like another trial coming soon. So I maybe consider this. Um, maybe I'll just do some sizing a little bit. Hope that don't mind me a little bit. I I kind of we're definitely going to see what village next video. Don't you worry. We're gonna need to talk to um you know. Okay, I'm so sorry, but I kind of maybe aware on what's gonna happen next. So I kind of you know. So, so again, I kind of like just um, know something inside out. Okay, I need to remember what the pathway is. I know that um, that where that was supposed to go, right? Yeah, I know. Okay, need to find a way to get to that um thing. Oh wait a minute, I think I may need to um take the rifle one off. Because I think some area kind of like two thing. Yeah, I I'm so sorry. We're gonna have a long um wine encounter there. <laughs> Didn't really, um, didn't put the pair there, kind of like, um, you know, says everything there, but eh, it's okay. Yeah, I'm sure that we'll, um, we're doing fine. I guess I'm really gonna make some new area with Masham Shok there. I mean, the Masham Shop that, um, I could totally enter, but I'll probably, for the time being, I kind of would love to, um, just gonna go here for now. Okay. Thank God this thing, not gonna try to ambush you. I know that some, um, sometimes they actually try to ambush you. So, there it is. So, yeah, we actually finally get in Masham Shop, um, on our side, we can find Muda Muda's Boulder. Easy. So yeah, that area I remember man, um, mentioned we need to wait a little bit. Um, it's kind of quite long until we actually get to the, um, the access to Max Shem shop. So then we actually have max access to it. So yeah, working with fine. Oh boy. I mean again, I guess we're gonna do some size up a little bit. Um, we're probably gonna go to um, you know, yeah, I'm gonna go straight up to the next um trial next time. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure we'll actually like, um, I couldn't manage to stop there, okay? You don't need to worry. <laughs> I mean, yeah, just saying. So anyway, um, here we are. This is actually the outer exit that you can actually enter into from Daylight Cave there. And indeed, that leads straight to, for some reason, Kony Kony City. This is an um, area there somehow, you know, kind of take quite a while. Oh, hi there. Um, aloha, hee hee traveler. Wait, what? Okay, that's kind of like, you know, apparently like you actually remember all the way back, so that's kind of something. Okay, when strip, if it's a moment, but seem, oh, okay, mention about the evil evolution, okay, yeah. So that's kind of something. So anyway, it does lead to some area on Kony Kony City, and also we're actually getting, um, you know, a TM there, what we got there. Wheel Whips. Um, not the TM I'm kind of through, to be honest. I, 
um, again, kind of like, you know, not what I'm using that often. Power, the, um, yeah, unfortunately, this um, air radiator is kind of completely sealed off. And I remember that, um, you know, I taking forever to, um, to actually making me um, wondering how in the world I could finally, you know, getting that set sticker there. Which is, um, yeah, that's like quite a toll sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. Until I find out that you need to go with Masham Show and then just, um, you know, like go all the way here to the, you know, the tunnel and then go for the different, um, kind of exit. If you see the map on the bottom screen, you definitely, you know, they can continue a little bit, but you know me, I tend to ignore it. So anyway. Alright, getting the tourism, um, secret now. We actually got 11 left. So yeah, this one here is kind of like, you know, it's obvious, but you need to actually have a lot of figuring out until we can finally getting that thing. Yeah, unfortunately, this, um, this, <laughs> this get really, really, I don't think we can actually, like, um, along it though, if I remember though. I'm thinking, can I using tower shot to, to, you know, no, yeah, unfortunately, because I see, um, this get is kind of like a block off. It's just block off for this, um, to the secret that we actually seeing that one all the way back, so yeah. Okay, so I think we're gonna go and move to the next area. I would love to do. I'm not really sure that I could do this now, but I'm not gonna try that one right away. So I'm gonna go back to Roy Avenue again. Um, some after we actually see some big um event, kind of like in the story. I'm also just gonna um kind of like go back and do some side stuff a little bit. Um, I know priority. Okay, <laughs> again, my priority of playing the game is just gonna try to show you guys some possibility you can actually do right away, and I think. You can actually maybe talk to him again. I didn't remember, um, you know, what the next story that is, but am I gonna consider, um, let's see. Do I get, um, do you get a story now? Oh, nothing yet, uh. Yeah, unfortunately. But our, um, however, if you remember that all the way the time that I actually, like, grinding, um, you know, the bury for my actually trying to grind, grind the level to, you know, maybe, you know, get everybody to get the catch up. I think that I may be getting the certain bury that we can finally give it to this Masham there to do, to, to finish the side quest. So let's check it out. So let's see. Do I get a Cobra bury for this one? Yes, I have it. Okay, good. Yeah, sure. That would be a big help. <laughs> yeah, of course, sometimes we are kind of like being a middleman just trying to, you know, <laughs> trying to help from each of the thing there, talk about that. Yeah, you remember we actually have helping in Cineroar to learn the acrobatic to make sure that, um, you know, he beat him a sham. So now, um, we actually helping a sham to kind of like, you know, cancel out the effectiveness of the acrobatic move there, apparently. Okay, Michelle, yeah. Alright, Cineroar, baby, there's no big deal anymore. Here, let me give you some, something to say thanks. So we're actually getting the TM buff up again. Um, yeah, kind of like <laughs> another set buff TM. Not really a new too much, but hey. All right. Tell his boss will make the most of the cover cover. All right. So good that we are actually helping them. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure that that's a good idea though. But um, yeah, we're working pretty fine there. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna do try to do as much cycle as we can as always. Okay. Yeah, I gotta do some more side stuff. I'm still thinking which side thing I would love to do next. Um, I'm still thinking there. Um, all right. I, I guess I'm gonna go to um. Yeah, let's go back to Ula Ula and maybe go to Mali City to. I know sure I want to go to either my Sutter shop or um. I want to go to to Sushi High Roller just to show um kind of like the last one that you can actually get from there. I mean again kind of like I think maybe I have enough money for this. I hope so. I think I have enough money though. I mean, don't you worry, I just realized I kinda, um, what should I say again? Yeah, I kinda like just already getting, <laughs> getting some, um, training battle. I think we'll go to my other shop first. I'm not sure that, um, I don't remember I took it, um, it went before or not. But then from there, I don't think I took it the right time, um, before we had to go back a little later. Don't you worry, I will try to get all the items, I mean, all the when I could actually get. So remember I think, um, kind of like back to the Kony Kony City, you can actually like, um, eating something good. Gonna go back to see Highway Roller again to um Okay, that's a salon. Do I I kinda maybe would love to maybe shame my look a little bit. But maybe I'll do them later. I'm gonna see um there's a kind of in gym. Where is the Sushi High Roller again? I mean again just gonna need to um <laughs> get myself kinda like some reminder a little bit. No, that's not the one. I think that's a JoJo that we can't even enter. Great. Oh that that I think that that is. Okay. Well, let's have some sushi a little bit there, and they're coming, and let's have something to eat. So, yeah, wow, I kind of have, like, enough though. So, I think like, we did all the ninja, samurai, geisha, we're gonna go with Ronin set. Which is, um, yeah, I'll be fine. And, 
then you actually go for that one, and I think you already kind of like complete the um kind of like beating Nanu. You can actually dive in Nanu there. So yeah, kind of like with Olivia um back on a color island on Kuni Kuni City. In case you remember, remember. So there's that. You open. Oh, Master Nanu, thank you for your coming. Kitty Kai, huh? I'm buying. So come join me in it. Here, sense. Hey, sensei. Bring me the you. Bring me my usual. Okay, bring the food. So you can actually dine with the uh, um yeah the the canoe himself, but you have to wait for a little bit. So all right, the see Kaiseki, probably some you know some maybe wasabi or something. So see um mm, sushi is kind of nice. You done? Sorry for taking with my mouth full like that. Hmm, <laughs> hmm, good right? Yeah, sushi is pretty nice. Do you really eat rice for ho quite a while there? Apparently here I'll give you um I got no need for this nonsense. So um. Again, you actually get husky out of it too, so that's kind of nice. Um, I kind of showed them before that um, this this are like so free, easy to free um, quite hard scaled. We're gonna need that for maybe some a bit um something later. See you, kid. Thanks. So yeah, I mean, I kind of want to show um that one a little bit in case you're wondering. Um, I do remember I would love to maybe took this um the, the, the next this, um the next one I would love to do. I do might do that anyway. I, I guess it's okay. I mean, again, I might play that for the walkthrough anyway. I. Again, we're probably going to, you know, maybe um Lily and Mina again on the where again? Sorry, I'm still thinking. Yeah, kind of like the thing. But we're gonna go back to ECD and I guess we're gonna go to server association because apparently, like, um, in case you guys know, in the previous video, I didn't remember what is that part would be actually beating the um the master courses. I think we can get something good out of it too. So let's check it on. Just check this one right away. I mean, again, we have a lot of flying today. Don't mind me. I mean, <laughs> I, I I know how to edit the video. Don't you worry. So yeah, so social association um every so right there. I do remember that um um what the right one that we actually need to enter, but I think that's probably the one though. I didn't remember, but let's see. I heard about you, kid. You're the one or two two top um you're the one who took the top rank spot in our four up a low sub spot. Congratulations, they call me the boss. I'm also a sub below by the man tie and the seed cell, but that's much as you. I got a perfect phone for you. I'll give you a PC that no serve. So, when you actually like complete, um, you know this, um, tidbit there, like if you actually complete the, um, can I get all the high? I mean the highest rank on, you know, like all the serving spot on the man high serving. You can actually get the PC, the special Pikachu there. So anyway, yeah, can I actually say yes? I might as well say yes anyway. I kind of okay that. I kind of know one thing. Um, another fun fact. That I see a lot of shiny hunters trying to gassy try to shiny hunting this um you know special Pikachu there. I for me I guess I'm just gonna you know yeah I'm just gonna keep it right here. I I like the shiny Pikachu though, but I don't really think I kind of like again don't really find myself gonna going to um doing shiny hunting that much anymore. So I hope you don't mind me. I'll definitely oh okay so we have also um yeah this is also having this um the special item too. So so in case you're wondering. Oh, I know. I actually should wait to the um, trick I always use. And um, I don't remember the min mention about the Magic Pass though. I didn't remember. Oh, <laughs> oh, they mentioned about the Pichu. Um, especially we can learn some sorry move there. So that's cool. So yeah, there's a Pichu there. Pikachu, Pikachu too. Okay, so um, kind of have a lot of things going on. So that's kind of nice. So. I guess what I'm gonna do now, I kinda maybe um I'm sure gonna pitch you that you can actually get from the um kind of like the service association spot. You need um again you want to get that one I mentioned um before you need to actually get the top score. So this is actually the pitch you there and they also have um the uh, the special move called serve there. The move um they actually have is kinda you know looking good. I kinda like um you know I think that this pitch you can um it warps you alone right you there, but I guess I was gonna keep it right here, I, I suppose. Yeah, I have. It's kind of like special because it learns serve that apparently Pichu can not normally learn serve. This one here can learn, which is kind of be more special there. Yeah, this actually the um the alone rise you. I do remember this um Pichu actually getting um evolved and it actually even be um the rise you though. I'm I'm not really sure, but maybe for fun fact, like in my Ultimate Moon, I may consider um try to get this Pichu with the shiny one. I mean, spoiler that on my Ultimate Moon game, I already get the shiny charm there. Also a little bit there that this one here was my gobbler is um you know wondering why it didn't um appear that one. We'll talk more about it, about it later. Don't need to worry. I kinda you know kinda have a good plan there. If we word it when um we find out all this, okay? So yeah. I'm definitely gonna switching team later. But anyway, what I'm gonna do here is I think I'm gonna talk to you first. 
โอเคเอ่อ Tuyasa what you wondering can I get the boat from there oh wow I didn't even buy that at all I might gonna have to buy that one later you know what I'm gonna sell um all the uh, all the tidbits that we actually get um because I oh I actually get this one new though I think the Prune Fossil we didn't get one yet okay good not so lucky punch no Master Ball no and I think the Copper Fossil we didn't get one before um either okay I'm gonna sell those things because we don't need it. Yeah, I think I might consider um let's sort first because I guess that um maybe kind of easier. Yeah, I think I might gonna consider getting more um you know in my plan maybe get more fossil helmet later. I mean yeah that's kind of nice. Um okay, we are adding the plume. Wait, do I get the plume copper fossil before? Um I may have to change one later. <laughs> Don't mind me. Um yeah yeah we have a hard scale form you know eat a lot of things. So I believe um we get some big nugget. Come and short by um sell one for now. I kind of intentionally sell only one because I'm um, here like to, to make sure that the um, we actually can get much easier on the you know item management. And yeah, thanks to the in case you guys know, thanks to the Plago, we can get a lot of money from this. Yes, please. Oh my god, like I I need it seriously. Yeah, finally get more money back again, which is really nice. I'm first of all myself just for an LL. I mean again, I I feel that you know might as well. The bottom I'm not really sure what exactly that good um though, but I might do um share one later. And hot stone. Apparently, um, you get this one a lot though if you're actually using the thing. So I might as well sell some um new little bit. So okay. You know what? I know how to sound dumb. I might as well gonna um buy our Nintendo machine um here anyway. See we're already here and we get some money, so let's um buy just for the heck of it. Get more TM um again because I need it. I mean nothing, just um I kinda need it, okay? <laughs> All right, so again, I'm gonna need to um buy everything sometime soon. It's okay. All right, there. I guess it's probably a good time. Gonna end the video there. Um, yeah, I guess it's probably that's a good time. Okay. All right. So next time, what I'm gonna do here, we also gonna go back to C4 Island and make a switch team a little bit because I know what's gonna happen next. Because um, yeah, I kind of aware for what's gonna happen next. Um, anyway, because I played before, like, not surprised at all, right? <laughs> Then what I'm probably gonna fly on my own, um, you know, kind of like fly off camera right away. It's kind of faster that way, in case you're wondering. So yeah, we also like, you know, know more about where the next flute's gonna be and, you know, where we're gonna need to go next. Also, we'll do some size up too because, um, again, I can really ignore the side quest. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, hope you guys enjoy once again and I'll going to see you guys more Pokemon Out of Sun next time in there, buddy.